All right, we're gonna do some math videos later on. <gasps> yeah. Okay, I'm super happy to be on Dr. Payan's show, and I'm going to show you guys how to integrate secant x over sine squared x dx. And this is a small part of the question that Dr. Payan showed us how to use Ronskin to solve the differential equation, right? So I will do you guys the honor to integrate this for you guys. Right here, this is what we'll do. Look, this is the integral. We know secant x is the same as one over cosine, right? So let me write this down as one over cosine x. This right here will be my secant x. And then this is the sine squared x. Let me just put that down right here. And the reason for me to do that is because when we're doing an integral, we like to work with sine and cosine, right? We don't want to work with secant and sine. They don't match that well. Sine and cosine are good friends in integration, right? And now, what can we do? Can we do u substitution? Unfortunately, both of the functions are in the denominator. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Remember, sometimes when we have more, it's actually better for integration, right? We have sine squared x and cosine x. That's nice. And we have a 1 on the top. How can we come up with more things? Especially we have the sine squared x already. Do we know any identity? Yes, we do, right? We know that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. Well, we happen to have this one right here, and this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to look at the identity backwards. So instead of this one, I'm going to look at the one as sine squared x plus cosine squared x. How's that? Can I do that? Sure, why not, right? And now, let's see what do we have. This is going to be the integral, and I'm just going to split the fraction because I have two terms on the top, right? Let me write down this first. This is sine squared x over the denominator, which is this, cosine x times sine squared x. And I will add cosine squared x over cosine x times sine squared x. Can I do that? And is this going to help us out? I think so. It's really nice, right? Because right away you see, the sine squared x, sine squared x, they cancel each other out. And in fact, this is going to be the integral 1 over cosine x. Let me put this down as secant x, yeah? And I'll close the integral right here. And then this right here, I can cancel out this cosine and one of them. So in another word, I will have the integral, right? This is my second one. And I have the cosine x on the top over sine square x on the bottom, like this. Okay, how can we integrate secant x dx? If you would like to know detail on how to integrate this, I show you guys four results. You can check out the video in the description, all right? And I'm just going to use the standard result right here. Hopefully, Dr. Payan doesn't mind. This right here is the ln absolute value secant x plus tangent x. Okay, and now how can we integrate this? Well, let me just do a u substitution real quick. I'm going to let u equal to sine x, just sine x, so that du is equal to cosine x, dx. Take this integral into the u world. You see that this is equal to integral on the top here. This is just du. Let me put down a du on the side, 1 over. This is u squared, right? And if you would like, let me just show you guys all the work. This is the same as saying u to the negative 2. du, you add 1 to the power, become negative 1, divided by the new power, which is 1 over negative 1. So this is negative 1, u to the negative 1 power, which is the same as 1 over u. What's u? The sine x. So we have negative 1 over sine x, which you know this is negative cosecant x. I didn't put on plus c because this is not the integral that I want to solve. That is, right? So let me just put down this right here. We are going to subtract because it's a minus. Minus this right here, cosecant x, and we are done. This right here, we are done, so we put down a plus c right here, okay? And I know this is not the result that Dr. Payan used in his video, but once again, if you check out the, the video in the description, you will see that all of the <laughs> expressions, all of the results, they are equivalent. So be sure to check that out, right? As usual, 
That's it. It's so good.